Hey, what's going on team? So today we're gonna do a video that you've requested quite a bit, which is a step-by-step -step tutorial of Heian Yandan. All right, so like I mentioned, we're gonna go through Heian Yandan. So if you haven't checked out our previous kata videos with Heian Shodan, Nidan, and Sandan, make sure you check those out. I'll put some links in the description. But keep in mind before we jump into it, that any of these katas are up for suggestion. So you might check with one person from an organization and they'll say that it's done a certain way. So all the small details, I'm not gonna talk about too much. I may give you a quick breakdown of a couple different ways that some of them are done, but check with your instructor, check with your group and see what they prefer. So this video is just gonna be kind of a resource to help you remember which motions come next and get you on the path to learning it. So with that, let's jump right into the whole kata. All right, so starting right out in Yoi, our first motion is gonna very much resemble the first motion in hand, Nidan, where we're gonna drop into a back stance, but instead of having our hands closed, this is actually gonna be a slow motion with our hands open. So I'm gonna drop down and my hands will sweep up with my left hand being about a right angle. So straight up just like this, and our other hand flat, pointing straight in the direction of our technique. Now, this one is gonna be slow, and you'll see some people that'll point their hands, some people just come right from here. Just again, that's one of those little subtleties. So we're gonna drop, step out, and these should end about the same time. Now I'm gonna change to the other direction. Again, you'll see some people point down, some people just change straight over. So we're just gonna change right over to the other side in kokotsudachi or back stance. Now from here, we're gonna shift forward, coming through center into a front stance. Now as I do this, my hands are gonna create an X, and I'm gonna go forward into Jujiyuki. So you'll see some people, again, will do this in a X just like this. Some people will use this as a pressing block with a palm down and a punch over the top. So again, check with your instructor. So from here, we're going forward Jujiyuki here, and then shift forward, into Morote Uke, or double hand middle block in a Kokotsudachi or back stance. Now we're gonna shift up to the left and do a side snap kick and a back fist, just kind of like we do in Nidan, but with my left leg, kick, and then we're gonna land and elbow this hand in a front stance. Now as we go, we like to shift about halfway and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so again, you'll see some just come up but technically in the uh, best karate series, it says shift up halfway, side snap kick and back fist and elbow strike. Now from here, we're gonna let our left hand drop down almost like a low block, but with a hand open. And our other hand is gonna bring up right in front of our face. And this is gonna be a transition motion. So you don't necessarily have to stop here, but we're gonna go one, shift into a front stance and catch with a knife hand or a spear hand across about face level. And the left hand is gonna pull back to your head, whether it be here or here, just depending. So from here, it's gonna be one, two. Now we're gonna do Magiri or front snap kick. So I'll show it from this angle. I'm going one, two, front kick, and I'm gonna land forward in a cross stance or kosadaj. And the idea is that I'm catching down with an elbow or a back fist strike. So from here I go one, two, three, and then we strike down. So the way that it would be facing this way. One, two, three, four, and this is our first key eye right here. Now I'm gonna change and face the other direction so you can see it from the back angle in our next motion. But we're gonna be turning into a back stance with what's called a wedge block. From here we change, step out, and grab. Now I'm gonna do a front snap kick, and then jab, reverse punch, and I'll do the same thing off of the other 45. So I'm gonna come in, wedge block, kick, punch, punch. All right, so again, this would all be after your key eye here, and we would be facing to the back of the room. So we just went one, two, three. Now again, going towards the back, we're gonna do double hand, middle block in a back stance. We're gonna do two more of these, two and three, all of these in a back stance. Now at the very end, 
We're going to shift into a front stance and our hands are gonna grab about head level and about head width. Think about grabbing a hold of somebody. We're gonna pull them down and knee, and this is our second key eye. So I'm gonna pull this down, knee, and then land in a knife hand block facing towards the front. All right, and then the final one is just gonna be a knife hand block to finish it off moving forward. All right, so now I'm just going to go through the kata all the way through, but about half speed, just kind of relax so you can see the whole kata put together. Uh, but if you want a video on like really intense kata or it done at full speed, full power, check them out. They're all over YouTube already. So I figured that's not something you really needed in this case. We'll just go through it soft and I'll kind of talk it through one last time to make it easy and fast. All right, so starting off in Yoi, we're going to the left nice and slow. Change to the right. Going forward, X block, and double hand middle block. Shifting up, kick and punch, and elbow. Step up, kick and punch, elbow, block, strike, kick, and key eye. All right, turn, grab, wedge block, kick, punch, punch. Other side, grab, kick, punch, punch. Now three middle blocks, one, two, Three, grab, ki, block, block, and back to yoi. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If you did like it, make sure you hit that like button, but also make sure you subscribe because we have all sorts of videos that we put out every week that can help you gain your edge in your martial arts training and for competition. But also, if you have any questions, any requests, anything like that, please toss them down in the comment section because we love to connect with everybody down there. Have a great time training this. Make it a great day. We will see you all in the next video. All right, peace.